Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. My name is Mr. Gruffle and the campaign led by Mighty Krokgar is in its winding down phase. I feel like I've been saying that for episode after episode, waiting for the victory. We are just a few turns away from a short campaign victory. We could take these uh, three towns earned by Skrulk and I might call the campaign there. I was going to push on for a long victory, but it's just going to be... Uh, 25, 35 turns of me sitting here paying money to Malekith, the Cult of Pleasure and Vampire Coast so that everyone stays friendly and don't go to war as I wait for the city to grow. And to me that seems like the least exciting gameplay that you the viewer at home could see that I could possibly sit through myself. So we're going to jump in, we're going to sack these three cities in quick succession and uh, grab ourselves a quick win. Ah, oh, Mr. Inzi here. Ah, oh, the mighty sacker of the city of Itza. Lead the way. Skaven, no way. And we'll auto-resolve. He hasn't bothered to defend it. He stole that city from the Vampire Coast. Ah, so we'll steal it from him. Hooray! Ah, we can rip that out. We don't need it. Build that up. You can sit in and guard the town. The rest of my armies. Oh, I thought that was Mr. Inzi. It was, it was old Monty. Monty the Dinosaur. Uh, Patek Vet, the new fella. Push down towards, uh, Mangrove Coast. Or do we want to go to this one? Oixel. We can see this army here, so we'll go this way. Uh, we can bring Croc uh, down. I think, uh, all Scrocks, Bolt Jokes have been sunk. And there's a, just a massive flotilla of people coming this way because there's nothing going on in the game at all. I was hoping Chaos or something would turn up, but uh, the Chaos folks don't appear too motivated today. Let's just come down here. Can you actually leap on the shore? I don't think you can this turn. Oh, you can. Well done, Crocker. Ah, Ratok wastes my time. I was going to start a new campaign after this one with uh, Steel Faith Overhaul and a couple of other mods, uh, but with the upcoming release of Tomb Kings and a major patch, I assume it's going to break the game, break the saves and everything, so uh, I shan't bother with that until Tomb Kings rolls out. Do a vanilla playthrough with them, and uh, might do a modded Steel Faith campaign with uh, one of the races we haven't seen uh, much of in this campaign. So it might be humans of uh, the Empire or Bretonia. Possibly dwarves, maybe orcs, the beastmen, I think the dark elves, the dinosaurs, the undead have all hid their day so far. Ah, so if you're watching this, have any thoughts on anything you want to see, throw down a comment. Most popular request will win. Ah, which probably means one comment to win, seeing no one ever comments on these videos. Disgusting. And, uh, otherwise, if no one at all comments, I shall just grab a, uh, Die 12 and roll up a random lord from the list. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Come to town? There you go. Hang out. Oh, Mr. Inzi's been ambushed by, uh... Ooh, is that Skrulk himself? It is gross. Let's give it a good kicking. Oh, through the forests. Where's the rat man? <gasps> Gross, they're spawning over there. Oh, the ambush, I don't think, really matters all that much to uh, the army. There's no sort of fragile units that we have to keep uh, safe from anyone, so we can start going for whatever we have. There we go, go with there, lads. Hey, most armies have usually got fragile armors. You know, weak little cavalry units. If they get jumped, are you going to be in trouble? But uh, no such thing as this. We just uh, all jump in and go for it. Why does my army keep walking this way when I've given them orders to attack over here? Is there another force over here? Who knows? Just go that way. Bunch of clowns. Yeah, 
Uh, get on the back. Uh, uh, you lads up top, can you come distract their warp lightning cannon for me? Uh, don't get shot by those purple goo machines. Uh, they're absolutely horrific. We're better running into them with armor. Stick it on. Oh, Skrulk's gonna be in here somewhere casting his nefarious spells about. They look all gross when it poisoned and all sorts of things. Uh, if we can find them anyway. For now, turn that on, turn that on. Gotta watch these uh, Death Globe chaps, I don't start chucking stuff at my pterodons. Magnificent, they're not. Right, you need to get up there. You distract them. Are oh, you berserk? These are death globe things are uh, designed to take out the big fellas, I think. No, that anti infantry. One of them's an anti large thing and it absolutely tears through the chaps I've found. Uh, where is Skrulk? Should be in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, Mr. Mazda, over here, chappy. Uh, can we pull you out? Are you alright? Oh, stay out there. Go on, Mazda, mate. Oh, boy, there's heaps of them coming in, isn't there? Yeah, there we go, you made it through. Good old Skrull, he's right there. Uh, oh, that's spawns some rats. We don't care about spawning rats. What we do care is stay on the cannons. Why would you start attacking them? That's infuriating. Give you a target, fire at it. There you go, you can run that way, chappy. Uh, big concentration of troops here we're going to plough through a couple of times. Now oh, these hell pit abominations, doing that. that one's about ruined, uh, that's right. Uh, right, looks like the cannons have stopped firing, magnificent. Uh, you, get on these uh, gutter runners, poisoned gutter runners. Don't know if you can catch them, but if you can... Oh, you've run into the cannon and trapped yourself. Uh, how we doing? We're Skrulky. He's only a little bit dinged up. There we go, all sorts of lads running about having a fun time. Uh, can you distract some of these guys? Shoot my poor birds. Just uh, charge that way. Uh, scroll, where is he? I lost sight of him. He keeps vanishing in here. These flags aren't actually easy to see what's going on a lot of the time, are they? If we had some sort of enemy unit cards down the side or something, I uh, might be able to see a whole lot better what's actually going on in the fight. There he is. How are we doing, Skrulk? Uh, doing slightly worse after that, I hope. Oh, buff times. Hooray! Eat the chap, he's getting run over. Uh, all sorts of gross poison raining down. That looks like the work of Skrulk himself. Uh, come on. Fine, don't bother tearing it out, Just go berserk. Uh, right. You still somewhere in there, Chief? There he is. Still not taking down these cannons, these are infuriating. 
Uh, you chap, do you want to dive in here? I'll actually, help these lads out. Take out the red guard for me. Magnificent. Oh, they're not going to be liking that in a second. Oh, the Skrulk guy just won't die. Get in here and see what's going on. Ah, focus on him. That's the way. Give me a kick it. Yes, chop chop. Oop, he's back. Right, you're having a grand old time up there. Uh, those guys have finally dealt with that. Come fly over here. They can shoot some of these things in the back. Uh, get berserked out, chasing them. That's fine. We are fighting against them. We've got all these filthy ranged units running about. We don't really have an answer for them in their speed. Right, buff up. You've got Skrog sort of. Isolated here, so hopefully you can rip into him. Ah, uh, it's a little bit of a red guard there, but they're nearly down. In fact, can we get you just quickly dive on them? A lot of fairly badly wounded huh, units here. Start taking some big uh, damage in a second when we lose some of these. Oh, scroll. God. What is health? Get on him and thrash him. Right, you're doing a good job kicking them, but could you take out these guys off? The red helmets. There we go, good trample. Come on, mate. Slow your head, give him the horn. What are you lads doing? Just standing there. Ah, uh, we chased some armies off this way. I've got no idea where our tro troops are. Uh, still going that way. Let's get all crazy about the map. And this stupid side map up here, I can never navigate around. Just lock it, camera facing in one direction. Way easier. Hurrah! Skrog is finally down. Uh, everyone else is going to capitulate here. There we go. Alright, the foul rats give up. Skrog is gone. Goodbye. Absolutely horrific losses for Mr. NZ there. But, uh, nevertheless, we shall recover. A couple of turns and, uh, in camp starts will be away. The replenishment always you replenish troops far too quickly. Oh, now he's been jacked by this guy. Oh, not you again, Mr. Corpable. We can't retreat from it either, which is super annoying. Oh, these ambushes. Just... Auto resolve. We're not going to win it. Oh, we'll get some vengeance for you in a minute, chap.
So there we go, if Mr. Inzi earns himself Plague Lash, which is uh, cut down. Disaster. Ah, but we can spawn. Ah, some Source Warriors. Hooray! Uh, your army is full. Crocyar, I think you were down a chap, weren't you? You've got no Ratok in your army. Where are you, Ratok? Do you want to come over to see Crocyar? He's going to sack a city without you. But you'd hate to miss out on that. Right, Monty the Dinosaur, over to Oixel. Ah, uh, quite heavily defended. Uh, we don't need a battering ramp. We'll build a couple of towers. We'll see if anyone moves in to help me out. Alright, protect vet. I think you can auto-resolve these couple of things. Get out. Uh, feast upon them. Oh, you lost it. Ah, uh, the chap. Disaster. Uh, right, you're on the siege there. You're fine. Oh, Crocya. Shall we just dive into the war here? So. Uh, well, seeing as we're running out low on things to fight. Plus 12 speed. Uh, there you go. That will jump in. We'll join them at the siege of uh, Mangrove Coast. Alright, so we have uh, the. Siege, we're gonna grab our three Stegodons, chuck them over here. Alright, you three gonna go through that gate. And we'll give you your own number. Uh, there we go. Uh, everyone on this side, who is a dinosaur. Two. Uh, group two. Get them kicking that door. Everyone else, go climb a wall and uh, fly over. Magnificent. What a strategy from the dinosaur chaps today. Actually, you might be better off firing at these guys down here, these poison wind freaks. we we'll distract them a bit, they're going to do some big damage to my chaps running in. Yeah, they're the anti-large ones. Yeah, the door's not going to last long, it's these chaps 40% damage. Uh, really guys, just... Run at it. Absolute buffoonery from the Stegodons over there. Right, the gates are destroyed. Let's go. In we go, group two. Come on. Well, Crocyard, you should buff yourself up a bit. There you go, make some room. And while you're making room, do you want to come fight the centre of the city for me? Give you something to do while uh, everyone else just sort of lurks about. Nearly on the walls, those guys reach the gates. Fantastic. 
<gasps> the gates are down. Is that these gates? It is magnificent. Right, you three, after embarrassing yourselves before, come to the centre of town. Ah, uh, or don't. There you go, just get in and go. Right, we're taking the walls magnificently. And by that I mean everyone's standing up there surprised there's no one defending them. Oh, warp lightning rains down. Yarr, indeed. Uh, what are you lads doing? Surely you were given orders to climb the walls, but uh, no. I don't know what that playing at. I didn't want to climb the wall there. Ah, crock yeah, been a lovely old time. Ah, what do you got? Rat ogres, thrash them. Terror should you come help me out? What are you doing? Are you up firing bombs at these guys? That's alright. I suppose that is a good use of your time. You guys can come over here. Failed to get through the door, fatty. Super annoying. Uh, we'll just ignore the rats up top and uh, come in the centre of town. Charge it, charge in. Don't hang about waiting. This poor feral stick, I'm just hanging out outside. You wanna go help him out? I think he ran off chasing things, which is a terrible thing to do. Fight things, fight things. Right, crook ya. Uh, blow some things down. Eat their lord. Come on, lads. Make your presence known on the walls. Get in. Give them a thrashing. Uh, you too. Chase after that fella there, he's just lurking outside. This will scare them off. Hooray! Uh, what are you guys doing? I thought I said charge in the middle. Alright, Croc, uh, you've terrified everything. Everything's running off. Uh, you, there's some things behind you. Go eat them. Drop some bombs on them. Fight them. Go that way and fight them as well. Alright, Rat Ogre's coming back. Charge him down. Croc Yard, charge over this way. Heaps of things to eat and do. Ah, oh, there we go. Old Mangrove Swamp or whatever it is. Mangrove Cove? Mangrove something. Falls. Oh, so there we go, 206 kills for Crocker. Uh, leading the way as he should. Magnificent. Oh, stop it, right up. Go away. Uh, actually, we'll wait for Ratok to turn up. Yeah. 
Alright, my lord, heading north, wasting his time. Ah, uh, into the mountains with you. Off into the frozen wastes to die. Alright, so in sieging the city, we've been ambushed from inside it. Uh, what I think is an absolutely terrible mechanic, but, uh. Oh, such is the way it goes. Oh, be gone. Usually I like this scene, but it makes no sense at the current uh, moment. My troops have encircled the city. Uh, halt. Uh, once again, scroll with a couple of anti-infantry troops. We don't actually bring that much in the way of infantry. Ah, uh, so that's not too big a concern. Go that way. Ah, uh, a stinky core. Two lords. Pestilost is their tough one. Who is this leading the assault? I don't think it's someone very... That's Monty. Monty in his first real fight. Get on them. Get on him. Ah, oh, we'll see how he does. Oh, you chief, you come charge here as well. Ridgard Helbids, after them. There we go, pour onto him. There we go, steal on charge through, magnificent. I believe this Pestilost guy we're fighting in here somewhere is actually quite high level. Ah, he's getting absolutely thrashed by the Hexawital Guard. You're up there, you're chasing them off, magnificent. I don't think their ambush is quite gone as they planned. Ah, we have an exclamation mark. Oh, we've spawned some more things. Um, fantastic. How you doing, Monty? Having fun? Good. Uh, the Grace here is already running. Absolute cowardly performance. Oh, uh, here's the Warlock Engineer. He's been thrashed as well. Not having a good day. Uh, I'll try and spread the lads out a bit to attack everything. Right, Monty is still going to work on this guy. Ah, uh, two left. Ah, uh, but no one chasing them. <gasps> Help an abomination soon up. Make no sense. Something for the lads to do, that is cry. Get on him. Whoa, thrash him. A bit late to the party, my friend. Oh, he's got a whole army back here. Look at this thing turning up. Disgusting, I think this is a city garrison. Bit of a poorly played ambush if they only turn up now. Alright, Monty, turn around. That was only part one of the battle. I thought you were doing gloriously. But you've uh, only done adequately so far. Uh, can we give this guy a thrashing? Uh, spin around. Ugh, oh, fireball incoming. Gross. Okay, I don't want any of that. Come on, deep. Things to do.
Uh, how's that abomination? That's dead already. Alright. Off you go, lads. Have some fun. Uh, you don't look like, look like you got much of the way of ranged units here. That's good. Uh, sensor bearers are a fairly high damage unit. Oh, but we've got these globe deers at the back. I want to take care of them at some point. Craven. A warrior's flea. Who's that? Spearman. Disgusting display. Uh, you're berserked up. Can't do anything. How's the rest of the lads? Have we chased everything off the map over this way? I think the answer is no, not quite. Right, come this way. Come this way. Oh, we're having more chaps flee, are we? It's a disaster. Monty, you need to get in there and lead your forces, mate. Get up here and you can fire your unbreakable hat when you get there. If you fire it now, you might be able to catch these guys. There we go. Toughen them up. Oh, what lightning. Oh, that's the engineer get out. Uh, back in the battle chaps. Uh, forward we come. Tons of things to eat right at the back. Uh, that's all gross scaven slingers coming in. What's the engineer? Can we give him a kick in? I think we nearly had him before and he recovered. Pterodons fall back, those things are no good for you. Kill yourself. Charge down, you guys are charging in, magnificent. Uh, you guys are coming around the back, be good. Alright, come this way. Uh, we need to just charge to the back and disrupt their lines. There we go, they'll stop them firing. My pterodons can remain up there, just firing away at their infantry. Uh, I think the engineer just went down. They should have someone out here commanding the uh, garrison forces that came in. I can't find them. They don't seem to have the uh, commander flag when they come in as reinforcements. A lot of the time. Uh, get on there. Have we got everything out of the way? Uh, who knows? Some Saurus there. It's so hard to see anything on this map. Why my unit flags disappear in the trees? It's beyond. Ah, it should be more of a miracle when my hidden units are discovered by me rather than by the AI. Right. Oh, Monty, you're taking a kick in there, mate. Bring in some lads to help. Oh, is that Monty packing it in? That's not going to be good for the lads' morale, is it? Chap here, come on. Get in there. And whether they're berserked or not, they are berserked. You lot, you lot are berserked. 
Come on. Out of the trees, into the war. Uh, Monty, did you leg it off the map, did you? He did, he completely went. Disgusting. Well, for a first day out, I am not impressed, son. Not impressed at all. Night no, berserk. Come on. What are you lads doing? You're chasing things? Good. Good, good. Uh, keep doing it. Come on, get in there, lads. Rawr. Right, two of them left. Should we gonna bomb them into oblivion, surely? One left. Yeah, far away. They can turn on these uh, spearmen coming in. Just breaking it off the map. Come on. Go, 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 go. Ah, there we go. We're sort of running out of enemies now, I think. They all are covered up there. Come on. Right, you lot, come this way. All their filthy arches and things just running about the map. Right, come here. Attack them. Uh, you're still fighting these fleeing guys. Nearly got them off the map. Well done. Couple more shots. Come on. Pew pew. Oh, you've used all your ammunition now. You're not going to be chasing anyone. Oh, will you? You can chase all these guys. All you have to do is act slightly threateningly and they'll uh, run. There we go, get in there. The edge of the map's there, so you should be able to chase them off, alright? Right. Get on them. Right, that heading off the map. Fantastic. Right. Oh, no, they turn around to recover. You guys need to run faster through the trees. Ah, oh, right, you caught those slingers there. Well done. Right, off you go. You can go that way. You, keep chasing them.
Well, a shameful performance by Monty, but the rest of the troops have done exceedingly well. Oh, that good tradition of dinosaur -y pluck and determination, getting the lads through. Uh, there's plenty of things fleeing in this direction, is it? Can't even tell. Yeah, you need to come this way. I hate a map where it doesn't have an arrow pointing to where you are, but a vision cone pointing away from where you're looking. To me, that's not how maps and games should work. Right, that's everyone cleared from there. Uh, come this way. Got my face in the right direction. Magnificent. I wish the AI would concede defeat more when it's thoroughly beaten. Hooray, they've left and you're leaving. Magnificent. Is the map clear? No, we've got one more thing up here. Stop, turn around. Oh, they've given up. Ray. Oh, Monty died. He didn't run away at all. He died. That's much better to see. Ah. I'm sorry I disparaged your name. Crocgar will be proud of you after all. Well, it's been a, a costly taking of Skrog's land. We lost Rukaka, Monty. Uh, who else did we lose? Did we, oh, we lost Mizda. Ah, but on the plus note, the filthy brat man is just about eradicated. Oh, talk chick. Arrogant. Sure. Ah, uh, Rays will sack the following. We shall do that. Right, scared the rat man into the wilderness. Ah, uh, you should be able to take the town. We just thrashed the garrison. Auto resolve it down, magnificent. Come, there's a filthy beast man up there. Gross. I bet he's, he's on our side, or at least not against us. So that's all right. Uh, I think that's the last of Skrog's armies there. Bit of a sad end for the fella, which is uh, good to see. This is still taking for absolute ever to get anywhere. I I'll just use my population service surplus to build that. It's getting worse. Not paying attention, just click it away. We're gonna take the uh, short victory and uh be done with it. Oh crook yeah, his intercepted zap spark, which I believe is the last of the enemies of uh Scroll, we can auto resolve this one. Uh, we shall eat them. I believe that's Crocgar handing us a short victory. So there we are, short campaign victory. Magnificent. Alright, so it's the event feed of our mighty campaign uh, plays through. Some thoughts on the Radius mod, I think it plays a lot better than vanilla. Uh, the ability to have uh, more armies makes it feel more like a war than having like two stacks running about. So, quite enjoyed that. Uh, it seems to have too many armies covering all the weaknesses that your forces should have, which I don't like. 
And I definitely don't like getting all the skills on your characters, because there's nothing worse than not having choice. The game itself, quite enjoyable. I'm not a fan of their victory conditions, not listing which cities needed to be held. Had I known that I needed the city of Itza, I might have uh, made my way across the map a lot sooner than I did, relying on uh, allies to hold it for me. But they, of course, couldn't build the special building that I needed to build, which didn't say the victory conditions was only buildable at that city. Uh, it seems like a bit of an oversight on behalf of the developers, uh, assuming that the player knows where all the special buildings can be built. As a player, I shouldn't have to tab out and go visit a wiki to find the one building that I need to build in which city. Apart from that, a thoroughly enjoyable campaign. I'm looking forward to the next one, which will probably be the Tomb Kings. And then once uh, Steel Faith is updated, I'll be running a Steel Faith campaign as either dwarves, one of the human factions, or orcs. Maybe even beast men. I hope you have enjoyed this first campaign. And I've been Mr. Gruffle. This has been... Total War, Warhammer 2.